everybody, Hood of Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a special one-time only reaction video. Uh, me trying these Canadian snacks. These snacks that Jaren sent me in the box. I just did an unboxing video. He sent me some G.I. Joe stuff. This is not G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, these are all Canadian snacks. I've never tried them before. He wanted me to try these out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bite of each one of them, and I'll give you my reaction uh, as to what I think of each one. So uh, let's give it a shot. Got some water. I think I'll need that. And we're going to start with uh, Hostess Hickory Sticks. And these look like they are made, uh, looks like, um, like, like uh, potato fries, looks to me. So let's try these. Open them up. And let's see. They're the original. And what are they like? Um, yes, made of potato. Crunchy. Oh, they actually have like a bacony flavor, sort of. And salty. That's tasty. This actually has a really nice flavor. I'll finish eating these. These are good. Yeah. So, original hickory sticks. They're basically um, short, little uh, crunchy um, potato fries, basically. And, uh, and uh, they're pretty good. So that's one Canadian snack down, and we're off to a good start. I like these a lot. Now let's try Caramel. Caramel by Cadbury. And it looks like it is uh, caramel and chocolate, which is a combination that I like, so I should like these. Let's give this a try, see if we like it. There we go. Oh, it comes in sections. So I'm just going to break off a section, give it a shot. That's good. It's similar to a Caramello, but it's a little better. The chocolate's better on it. So, uh, so Cadbury Caramel, also a winner. Also a Canadian snack, a snack that I've never tried before. These are good. I will also finish these. Next, this is a Cadbury Crunchy. Cadbury Crunchy, it says uh, sponge toffee. So let's give uh, the Crunchy a try. This one I'm not familiar with at all, so let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it. I thought this was going to be like um, a Butterfinger, but it's not. It's um, got kind of a butterscotch flavor. I'm not a big fan of butterscotch, but it's not bad. I'll bet Susan will like this. I'll let her give this a try. Okay, let's now try Hawkins Cheesies. Um, these um, should be cheesy. Um, and they kind of look like Cheetos. Let's see if they're anything similar to good old-fashioned American Cheetos. Let's see. That is, um, that's a lot like a Cheeto. Um, what's the difference between this and a Cheeto? I think this might just be a little crunchier. Um, and maybe the, the uh, uh, cheese flavor isn't quite as strong as what you would get from a, 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 an American Cheeto, but, but not bad. So this is something that I would eat. It's a pretty good snack. Real cheddar cheese. So that's the Hawkins Cheesies. Let's move on to the next one. Coffee Crisp. Coffee Crisp. I like coffee flavored things, so this should work pretty well. Makes a nice light snack. All right, so this is a light snack. That's good. Uh, so let's try Coffee Crisp, if I can open it here. All right. Looks like it's a traditional candy bar. I'm just going to break off a piece. There we go. Ooh, that crumbled a little bit. Let's see, let's try it.
It's a strong coffee flavor, but it's not too strong. I mean, you can definitely taste the coffee. And I agree, this is a, this is a good light snack. It's not heavy at all. It's got kind of like a wafer inside covered with chocolate. And this would be a good snack. It'd be a good snack in the morning. This is a good morning snack. Yeah, I, have, I approve of coffee crisps. All right, I had to clean up my mess a little bit after my coffee crisp crumbled, uh, but we're ready to move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is Nestle Big Turk. Turkish Delight? Really? Really? So, will this uh, make me uh, betray my siblings to the White Queen? Is that what this is going to do? All right. Big Turk Turkish Delight. Let's try that. Looks like it is a chocolate covered bar. Uh, it's in segments. I'm going to break off a segment. Oh, it's very, it's very chewy. Okay. All right, I got a segment broken off, so let's give this a try. It's a unique flavor. It's not exactly licorice. It's a little too subtle for that. I can't say I've had anything Turkish Delight flavored before, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. I mean, it's not bad. It's probably a bit of an acquired taste. Um, so this is one I'd have to get used to a little bit. But um, but the, the flavor isn't overpowering, so it, it, it's, not, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one that I have to get used to a little bit before I ate a lot of it. Next, we have... Glosset Raisins. Look like chocolate covered raisins. Best ever, it says. Best ever. Well, let's see. Let's see if it's the best ever. Let's give it a shot. Give it a try. Pop this open. Yeah, it looks like chocolate covered raisins. Let's give it a try. These are indeed chocolate covered raisins. That's exactly what they are. And I love chocolate covered raisins. It's hard to screw that up. And it tastes exactly like what it sounds. It's raisins covered with chocolate. And the last thing, we have Nestle Smarties. Now we have Smarties in the US, so I'm wondering if these are the same Smarties or if these are a different type of Smarties. So let's open up the Smarties. It says, make them last here on the box. I make no promises. I can't say that I will make them last. Um, so, but let's see what they taste like. Pop, open, open, open. Ah, okay. It's got like three segments inside the box. And it looks like just some random colors in there. And they're definitely not the same as American Smarties. So, all right, I just spilled some of the Smarties. So I'll, I'll cut that part out. I, I'll edit that part out. I just wanted to get a few different ones so I could try different flavors. So here's a, a purple one. Oh, they're they're like crunchy on the outside, like chocolate. It's like M and M's. I thought they were like different flavor. I thought they were like different fruit flavor candy, but they're not. The flavor is a little different from an M&M, and the shape is a little different, they're flatter. Well, now obviously these are good. I'm going to clean up my mess here, but I'm definitely not going to make them last. I, I will be eating all of these. Well, that's all of them. Thank you, Jaren. I hope you enjoyed this uh, reaction video. I hope everybody else did, too. Um, and if reaction videos aren't your thing, well, then just skip it. But if you do like kind of seeing this kind of thing, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, my family has just kind of been waiting in the wings here for me to finish this because they want to try all of these. So uh, now they'll get to try them, too. But this was a lot of fun. Thank you again. Thank you for the other box, and thank you for these as well, Jaren. I really appreciate it. This weekend, we will get back to regular, real G.I. Joe toy reviews. I've got one already ready to go, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, thank you again, Jaren. Thanks for everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.